Hi, my name is Michael Maringer. I'm a seminarian at Mundelein Seminary, studying for the Archdiocese of Chicago, and I'm in pre-theology too. I wanted to take a moment to thank you for your support, whether it be prayers or your financial contributions, and be assured of my prayers for all of you. Thank you and God bless. Mundelein Seminary is my home and will be my home if God wills it for the next four and a half years. And it's been such a blessing being here on the grounds, being a part of the community here. Um, there's such an atmosphere of prayer, of love. There's a lot of uh, fraternal get-togethers. There's lots of different events that we do um, to grow in community, to help the communities around us. So for me, my year and a half here has been an absolute joy. My vocation story is a pretty simple one. Um, I was raised Catholic and I fell away from the faith um, during the college years, which is pretty typical for um, people of my generation. Um, I studied chemistry and Spanish, and once I graduated from Indiana University in Bloomington, Indiana, I came back to Chicago and started working as a chemist. And I quickly started, once I started living on my own, I quickly started realizing that I didn't think I was happy really in life and started asking some bigger questions about, you know, what's the point of everything and, um, you know, what's this Catholic faith that I was brought up in that I don't think about anymore and, you know, what's my, you know, do I have a mission, you know, is what's important in life. Um, and so I started going to Mass again, um, just kind of felt an urge to do it and um, realized that I didn't, you know, really know or remember, remember a whole lot about my faith. And so decided I would um, give it a shot and started learning a lot about my faith. And um, the rest is history from there, really. I, I, I re-fell in love with my faith and um, really fell in love with God, with Jesus, with his church. And um, I discerned I, one day God put the thought of priesthood in my mind and I fought against it for about four years, um, discerning uh, whether that was my vocation in life. and. Uh, a year and a half ago, I decided that I wasn't going to be able to remain sane and uh, continue working at my job without giving this a try. And so um, I applied to seminary, and here I am uh, a year and a half later. If I were to give advice to someone who was discerning their vocation in the church, whether that be to the priesthood or to consecrated life or even to marriage, um, I think I would first recommend just staying close to the sacraments. You know, they're gifts that the church gives us to. Um, help us grow in grace, help us grow in uh, the life of Christ, and really be able to discern what it is God's calling us to do. And second of all, I would say that prayer is really indispensable for someone who is discerning a vocation. Um, without really connecting with God, you're not going to find what it is he's calling you to. And thirdly, I would just say that, you know, a lot of people who are discerning their vocation uh, end up waiting for a big lightning bolt to hit them uh, to really guide them in their path. And I would just say that um, trust that, trust your gut feeling, trust what God's calling you to do. Um, when I was discerning my vocation, I had a tendency of keeping both my feet firmly planted on the ground and kind of was waiting for the lightning bolt. And I decided finally one day to take one step forward to see if you know, to test the water, and I found that when I took that one step, God really uh, was able to guide me along my path, but that first step is necessary.